What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dr. Squatch review. Today is something a little different than usual. I have been in contact with one of my new soap dealers, I guess you would call it. And this guy I know, he hooked me up with what appears to be a wheat Dr. Squatch bar. And I think he got it from someone who is either a current Dr. Squatch employee or former that sells stuff before it comes out on eBay. Uh, either way, this is called Cowabunga Cleanse. And this is a collab with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which I'm not super familiar with, but I thought it was very interesting by looking at the box. Now, I just bought one of the, the sample bars wrapped in plastic. They don't all have boxes. I think he has a box, but most of the bars are just bought in bulk. Um, so here it is, and this is supposed to be a tomato and basil pizza somewhat scented bar, I believe. Now here it is, and this bar right here, it does feel like a Dr. Squatch bar. It has that Dr. Squatch feel to it. It looks like it could be from Dr. Squatch. I know the box looked pretty real, but there have been some that have been fan-made. Um, but this, I, I think this is legit because the other couple bars that he showed me, I can confirm are real. Like the Diamond Scrub, which is the Minecraft collab with Dr. Squatch. That is a real thing that will be coming out to Walmart stores in the near future. And I believe it's the same thing with the Nautical Nonsense Bar, which is the pineapple looking um, SpongeBob collab. Both of those, I know for sure, 100% sure, that the Minecraft one is legit. And I know that will be sold in store at Walmart. Um, as far as the pineapple one goes, I'm pretty sure that's also a real thing. So let's review this one, though, because here we are. Um, this is the Cowabunga Cleanse. And you can see those little pieces of basil in there. Let's see what this, this smells like. Again, this features basil and tomato extract, but I'm not so sure about a pizza scented bar. Now, you know I love pizza, especially New York pizza, and I still need to do a New York pizza review for you guys sometime. But in the meantime, let's see how this smells. Hmm. Very interesting. Um, this has a very strong, very strong basil scent, but it's not like fresh basil that I cook with. It's more of a refined basil. It's more of like a dried basil scent. If you do a lot of cooking, you'll know like, like I use fresh basil for my pasta and even like pesto that I make homemade. And a fresh basil scent has a little bit more of like, it does have kind of a, a very strong herbal scent to it. But this has more of a dried basil scent and I'm sure it has a lot of added natural fragrance to this because it also does have a, like a slight tomato sauce scent to it as well. I would say it's definitely more of a savory salty scent but you do get that herbalness from the basil. It kind of reminds me of spearmint basil without the spearmint and then add in a little bit of like a tomato extract. I wouldn't say this smells like a fresh slice of pizza. So it's not like that kind of food scented bar. It just kind of smells like it's made with basil and tomato extract almost. It's interesting. It's not, it's not horrible, but I don't love it either. If that makes sense, it doesn't smell disgusting. And I think, I think there are actually a lot of people out there that will kind of like this bar quite a bit. It's very aromatic. It kind of smells like a like a fresh Italian garden almost. It's not the worst in the world. It's not my favorite, but it's not the worst in the world. So let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments down below. I'm sure there'll be a, quite a few questions about this, but let me know what you think and uh, we'll see you next time.